Now, a lot of people have been led to believe that Hollywood is an entity or industry of entertainment. And as you can see behind me, you know, and I think this is the latest one of those movies. People think this stuff is fake and for pure entertainment purposes. But I'm here to tell you, it's not. It's very real and it's happening. And it's happening by design. So check this out. I got three points I want to make with this. And I'm going to show you some books. Okay. All right. The first point of why this is not entertainment is because this stuff is predictive programming. And <clears throat> this book I'm holding right here, it's hard to get it in here because of the green screen. It's called Propaganda by Edward Bernays. And what Edward Bernays talks about in this book, in the initial part of the book, is the use of the printing press for predictive programming. Controlling people through the printing press. Why? Because before the printing press, people did not just, the masses did not have, in Western society, they did not just have access to books and the ability to, to mass blast their thoughts and ideas to one another until the printing press. So when the printing press was invented, they wanted to make sure they remained in control of the people. Now, I'm pretty sure that if it went all the way back, predicted programming all the way back to the printing press, it, it that's before the television, okay? So I would say even before the printing press, it went it uh, went even further back to plays because plays used to be a big thing. Okay, so that's point number one. This is predictive programming meant to control your mind in the subconscious. And subconscious is powerful. You know, yesterday I was calling my dog and I kept calling him by the name of... Um, a dog that I had that passed last year around this time. And I asked my wife, I said, why do I keep calling? Uh, I said, why do I keep calling Taurus? She said, because he passed around this time. And it's in your subconscious. And I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. And people underestimate the power of the subconscious. Okay, so that's point number one. All right, my second point. This is a book called Love Not the World by Watchman Nee. Watchman Nee was a believer in Hamashiach or Christ who was full of the spirit. He's from China. And his ministry was during a time of great persecution and travail. And he went out. He was devoted to his ministry. He went out as a martyr. And this man's books are deep. Okay. So in this book, Love Not the World, Watchman Nee is breaking down the system of the world. And he addresses the pillars of society. And those pillars... According to him, are politics, education, literature, science, art, law, commerce, and music. I would even add in there medicine. And we've seen great mass manipulation through medicine in the recent years. And um, mm, what's one that might not be there? No laws in there, manipulation of the courts, manipulation of justice. <clears throat> anyway, these pillars in society are points that the powers, principalities, rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. These are manipulation points of the masses. And this is where they place their agents of chaos to Create conditions over societies that will bring people to this. So that's point number two of why this is very real. If you all you got to do is look around the earth, you know, stop what you're doing, look around, and you will see. Especially in this nation, you see the flag. The create uh, the conditions are being created for people to be off like that, frustrated like that. Hurt like that. In fear. Like that. Okay. And the third point I want to make. Is this. And this is probably the most important point. In this video. People. Who do not have the Holy Spirit. The Ruach HaKodesh. People who don't have the restrainer. The comforter. The great counselor. 
People who do not have the Holy Spirit are capable of very terrible things when put under pressure. And I don't have to, I mean, it's, it's, it's self-evident. All you got to do is turn on the news and you'll see for yourself. But I'm going to say this too. Even people who have the Holy Spirit, they are still human. Even though they have strong conviction, they're still human. And when put under pressure, even people with the Holy Spirit can snap and are capable of terrible things. But the scripture shows us and tells us that the majority of people in the earth are not sealed. They're not sealed by the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. And they don't have the spirit of God in their temple. It doesn't mean that people who do are perfect. No, we already established that. I'm saying that the majority of people don't. So when you can die, combine the predictive programming with the agents of chaos and the pressures to create it chaos so these people can bring the order they want to see for the purpose of the Antichrist mentioned in the book of Revelations. This is not entertainment. This is not entertainment. This is real. This is what's being done on purpose. The just shall live by faith. We have to have the Holy Spirit today and we have to live in discernment because principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness and heart uh, high places are real and they are operating through the pillars of this society and they want control of your mind. The subconscious should never be underestimated. The subconscious is powerful. I was yesterday I kept calling my, my dog one of my dogs I kept calling him by a former dog I used to have that passed last year around this time I kept calling the former dog's name when talking to my present dog and I asked my wife I said why I keep calling Taurus name I keep calling war Taurus and she said because he died around this time last year he's in your subconscious you're thinking about him and I said you know what you're right baby you're right and that's how powerful the subconscious is when you, you, you things be, can be ingrained. It's dang near like DNA, mental DNA. So we got to protect our ear gates and our eye gates. Shalom.